time no see welcome back to my LA apartment I'm currently sitting on the floor I'm about to run out the door my eyebrows they look so much darker than they normally do I don't know what's going on but it's happening today anyways I have missed you guys I'm currently about to run out the door as I said I'm meeting up with Tara and Tiff and we are going to a tea party which I am so excited about I haven't been to a tea party since I was like eight years old in Girl Scouts and it was so much fun so I'm so excited I saw Hart and Ann go here like years ago i love that tart i think she's so cute and she went here to like the place that we're going to and ever since i saw that vlog i was like i need to go there one day and then tiff and i were talking in orlando and we we're like you know what like i love tea tiff was like i went to tea the other day i was like i want to go so badly so we made a reservation we're going today i'm wearing this fun like sundress i figured like tea like a dress like it'd be cute i don't know so this is the first time that i'm vlogging since being back from orlando i got back on thursday night it's currently tuesday afternoon and the reason why i haven't vlogged is because I have been so busy. I've been doing a ton of different shoots. Over the past few days, I've had three different shoots, which has been so, 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 so much fun, you guys. And I'm really proud of myself because if you don't know, I'm like a very introverted, like shy person. I know it doesn't seem like it and I've really come out of my shell over the past few years, but I am naturally a very shy person. So when I go to these sets, I'm always really, really nervous, but I'm finally confident enough where I feel like I can be myself in front of like a crew of people. I know it sounds weird and like I should just be able to do it normally, but it's really scary and I'm really proud of myself. So hold on. There is a helicopter flying around up here. Do we see this? Should I be worried? Possibly. So yes, I'm really excited to see how they turned out. I will let you guys know when they go up, but I had so much fun. So I haven't been vlogging those few days just because it's been craziness, but now everything's like settling down. My life is coming back together and I'm really excited. Okay guys, I have to talk quietly because this is like a fancy place, but Tara and Tiff are running late. So I got here and I'm sitting at our table. I got here and I was like, I'm sorry, we're late for our reservation. Um, my party's gonna be here later. Like, is that gonna be a problem? She's like, oh no, do you want me to seat you now? I was like, okay, that's fine. And she takes us over to this reserved table, this like section, just look at this. There is a fireplace with like a fake ice sculpture with like books. This giant table for the three of us, this couch. Look how nice this is. I'm just chilling here alone. Like, I can't believe this. I'm just waiting. I'll wait here all day. I will just sit here all day. All right, guys, so we are at Tress at the SLS Hotel, and this is the menu. I don't exactly know what we're gonna get, but it looks so nice. I'm just calling it right now. Tara's gonna freak out about the cucumber goat cheese tomato thing. She's gonna love that. Danielle and I came to dinner here for the Dine LA thing, and it was very fancy, and we tried this caviar steam bun i don't like caviar but it's really fancy and then more importantly we have the tea selection and i think i'm gonna get the one with the fruit i just like fruity teas this has wild strawberries blackberries and raspberries that's like calling my name forgot to mention look who's here yay <laughs> just taking pictures of everything got my tea i got the fruit one and it smells divine divine what a fancy word we have the cones over here these two are the broccoli Yum. and this is the bagel moss we have the caviar steamed buns in here with creme fresh salmon and coconut sandwiches on brioche buns goat cheese cucumber and tomato heart pie chocolate pop rocks and vegetarian quiches <laughs> Cookie, warm spice cookie, it's like a soft gingerbread cookie. Yeah. It's my personal favorite, it's really awesome. Okay. Matcha financiers, mm. peanut macaroons, and vanilla strawberry cream puffs, chocolate rice crispy bonbons, yuzu and lemon verbena bonbons, and raspberry and yuzu pipettes. All right, we're gonna try the cones. Are we all ready? Are we all doing this? <laughs> Shall we? Cheers, girl. That is good guacamole. I'm impressed. All right, we've got these chocolate pot rocks. Tara loves them. She's freaking out. It's crazy. Hello, guys. So we had wonderful tea, and now we are at Rodeo Drive. And Amaris, if you guys remember, my old roommate is actually meeting me here, and I haven't seen her since my birthday, so I'm so excited to see her. I think I'm gonna get yelled at, so I have to put this away. I'll talk to you soon. Hi, guys. We've made our way over to Sephora at the Grove. Also, look who's here. Hello. Sweet Amaris. And this is Sit Lolly. So, back at it again. We are in Sephora. I'm getting another one of my favorite foundation ever. This is the Tint, Tint, Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour, I don't know, from Lancome. So good. Just shopping around with my buds. This is great, We're having a great time. Hi guys, so I am back. It is actually not the next day, it is the next, next day. Yesterday I stayed in my apartment and just worked on a video all day and got that up for you guys today. I didn't do anything exciting, so I didn't vlog. But today is an exciting day, it is currently Thursday. My hair looks insane because I haven't done anything to it yet, but 
I think either the people upstairs are like moving or something because there's like a lot of noise going on. So please ignore that. Anyways, I'm very excited. So I thought I would come on and do a haul for you guys, a hashtag vlog haul because I watched Alicia's and Nikki's together and I thought they were so cute and I bought a bunch of stuff and I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna do a vlog haul too. So as you guys saw, we went to Sephora. We also went to Topshop and I picked up a few things. And then last but not least at Playlist, I got so many hats that I wanted to show you guys. Also tonight, I'm very excited because I'm actually leaving to go to New York. It's not for business. I am going completely for pleasure, which I am so excited about because it's actually Mother's Day this weekend and my mom's never been to New York before and I am taking her for her first time ever and it's gonna be so much fun. I'm obviously gonna vlog for you guys so you guys will get to see Mama Cruz in the vlogs and she's so excited, it's adorable. So she's gonna come over tonight and I have quite a few things I need to do before then. I still need a pack, I need to film another video and I think I'm gonna meet up with my aunt because my aunt's taking Daisy. She's watching all the dogs this weekend. So it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be lots of fun. But before I start that, I wanna talk to you guys about something. So I don't know if you guys are subscribed to my main channel, which if you're not, completely fine. You don't have to be subscribed to that. But I actually just uploaded a video today, the one that I worked on yesterday. It's a story time for something that happened to me a couple months ago. It's been like an ongoing process. It's been going on for a very long time, but it finally ended like a couple weeks ago and I finally decided I'd do the story time. If you didn't know, I had like a one million subscriber giveaway and someone basically like intercepted the giveaway and pretended to be the girl and it was like it was really messed up and they ended up conning me into giving them the prize when obviously they did not deserve it so um yes that's what happened so yes I ended up talking about it in a vlog but I just did not include it in the vlog like when I was editing I just like didn't put that part in just because I didn't really have any answers at the time it kind of was just like me being sad and I was like I don't want to bring anybody down until like I know what's gonna happen so that is why I never talked about it but I got the package back and I've been in contact with the girl and everything's good now I'm going to send it out again but I just wanted to let you guys know that's what happened if you want to watch the story time like the whole like 20 minute story on my main channel go ahead and go watch that if you want if not that's like the lowdown I got it back everything's good but yes that's why I never told you guys I just didn't want to like say anything until I finally knew for sure all in all just very excited to have it back so also I want to give a shout out to my friend Gabrielle or Gabby or Gabrielle Marie or Gab she has tons of names that she could go by she is also another youtuber and she's so awesome I've been watching her forever and she does really awesome like editing hacks and things like that so if there's like a specific youtuber that you like watching and you like the way that they edit most likely she's a video on how you can like replicate the editing and learn how to do it on your own whether you have iMovie or Final Cut or something like that so she's really awesome she breaks it down into really awesome tutorials she also has some cool videos where she has like popular youtubers and like music that they use very frequently so I learned a lot of music from there like she's awesome I'm gonna leave the link down below she made me these really cute little animated things I'll put it right here for you guys to see to show my handles like my Twitter handle and like my Instagram and all that kind of stuff so she's awesome and she shows you guys how to make those she has like a bunch of green screen effects just check her out I'll leave the link down below but thank you so much to Gabby for making that for me because I love them so much I don't know how to do that stuff on my own so thank you so much all right so I rambled a lot let's get on to the haul I'm gonna start with Topshop just because I just got like some basic stuff I got a bunch of stuff here I picked up a bunch of their little like crappie top things they look like this I got this white one here I got a black one that is just like a normal spaghetti strap black one like this and then I got a white one that's just like a normal spaghetti strap like this and I love their shirts these little crop tops so much they're somewhat inexpensive they are this one's $10, that's not bad at all, and the quality is really, really, really great, and they match with like everything. I can wear them with shorts, or skirts, or high-waisted pants, or anything like that, so they're awesome to have, or just like layer under shirts and things like that. So, I love these, I highly recommend them if you are shopping at Topshop and you're looking for something a little bit less expensive. And then I got another black shirt here, this is so cute, it's actually like a crop top, or like a bralette, but it's so cute, it has the cutest little detailing at the bottom. Oh, it's so pretty, but I got this because I thought that I would wear it, because I'm actually going to eat see New York next weekend. My travel life is gonna be insane. Over the next week, I leave for New York tonight, I come back Monday, and then I leave for New York again on Friday and come back Monday. So it's gonna be crazy, but I'm so excited. Secret and Refinery29 is actually sending me, and I'm so excited, and I'm bringing Tara with me, and it's gonna be so much fun. So I don't exactly know what to wear because EDC is like a real rave. I love EDM music. If you guys don't know me, I like it's my favorite thing. So I'm so, so, so excited. You don't even know to like see the people, and the lineup's awesome. I've never been 
to a festival or an EDM concert or anything like that. Like the closest I had to like an EDM concert was like my college concerts that they had. So I am very, very excited. I don't know what to wear. I'm not gonna be personally wearing the traditional rave clothing with like the sequin bra and like all that kind of stuff just because I'm not comfortable with that and I'm like technically working. So <laughs> that's probably not appropriate, but I'm so excited. So I don't know what to wear. Um, I'll probably just wear like some shorts and like a bralette top or something like that. Like just something easy. And last but not least from Topshop, I picked up a couple skirts. So I have these guys here. This one is so cute. It's a like tweed skirt. I have an obsession with skirts, like an actual skirt problem. I thought this was so cute. It's kind of like a tweed material. It's like knitted and then it has white and black stripes on it. So very simple. And I thought it'd be cute with like a white shirt or a black shirt or a colored shirt. Like it matches with everything. And then this one also matches with everything because this is just a plain white skirt. It just looks like this. It's got some scalloping down the front as you can see. And that's it. It's got like an, a stretchy waistband and it looks really comfortable. So I picked that up because I thought it would match with everything. <laughs> Moving on, my baseball cap collection has grown immensely. As we can see, I actually did buy this one here. I bought this at Free People. I actually was at Free People and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I love it. And I know Tara would like it too. So I bought Tara one and she wore it like every single day we were in Florida. I think I wore it one day, but I think it's really cute. It's a gray suede hat. My hair is like really big right now, so it looks crazy, but I love gray, I love suede, and I thought it was cute. So I got this and I love it so, so much. So first of all, from the shop called Jawbreaking, or Shop Jawbreaking, it's so cute. Their stuff is adorable. And the girl who actually owns it is now my new friend. Her name's Allie and she's amazing. I love her so much. I'm gonna link Shop Jawbreaking down below. Check it out. And also there's another brand called Always Again USA, which I will also link below, but I'll show you guys the hats from those two different brands. So this is from Shop Jawbreaking. It is so so cute. It's a really soft, like incredibly soft sweatshirt. And it says, blogging is greater than jogging, which is so funny. So I got this. It's so soft. And then also from Shop Jawbreaking, I got a couple hats from them and their hats are adorable. I got this one here that says, feeling shady. It's a white hat and I love this one. This one really caught my eye. And then I also got this one here that says, what a time to be alive, which is so cute. I love the font. I love it. They just look awesome and they're very well made so I'm very impressed and then from always again USA I actually got a hat from them last year at Washington DC I bought one from them and it's the pink one that says mom on it I love it so much the girl who owns the shop gave us a bunch of hats here so I'm so excited I have these two here which is a white one that has the coordinates on the side I know one is the coordinates for I think it is somewhere in New York and then one is somewhere in LA I believe that is so there's a black one with red on it and then the white one with red on it and they're so cute in the back says always again so cute so I got a black and a white and then I also got this one here which is olive green it says go nowhere I love that I got this one which I love it's like a blue denim kind of hat like a grayish blue denim and it says dad on it so now I have a mom hat and a dad hat I don't know if it's weird for me to have a dad hat but I really like this hat and then this one I think is my favorite it is a blue one that says cry baby on it and I love the wash of the blue and I like the word cry baby I think it's funny so Yes, I got all that stuff from there. They're so cute. I'm gonna leave their links down below. They are awesome and I highly recommend them if you're looking for a baseball hat because they're really cute and very unique. So, yes. Last but not least, I went ham in Sephora. I'm so excited to try out all this new stuff and I wanna show you guys. So the first thing I got is this here because I watched Claudia's Get Ready With Me or like a makeup routine or something and she used this and I was like, all right, now I need to get this. So it is the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. It looks awesome. It's got like a weird like, kind of murky color, which sounds kind of gross, but it looks, <laughs> so it looks like this, but I like the packaging a lot and I really like Bosch stuff because I think it's really good for your skin. So I got this and my skin's been clearing up quite a bit lately, which I'm very happy about. Oh, also it's in my bathroom, but I got the Origins um, Checks and Balances White Frothy Face Foam, something like that, like a cleanser. I've been using it every morning and every night for the past couple days. It is awesome. I love it. I take my makeup off with it and it makes my skin feel really nice and clean and tight and my skin's been feeling like awesome. So I love it. The next thing I got is this thing here. This is from Bumble. And Bumble. It's the Don't Blow It Hair Styler, but the H is in parentheses as we can see. So basically, the days that I don't want to heat style my hair, I just put this through and it adds like a nice natural wave to it and some hold and like some shine and just it's awesome. And it also smells so good. Mm, oh my god, it smells so good. I'm getting excited all over again. I picked up these tweezers here, which there's actually nothing in here because I was tweezing my brows this morning at my little vanity, but this is awesome. I love them. I left my other tweezers, I think, in Orlando. I haven't been able to find them. So I had to get a new pair because these are a necessity. The tweezer mints are the best. And now I can throw that away. 
I picked up these Bosha black charcoal blotting linens or just basically blotting sheets because I get very oily. I tried one in the store and I love it and I love Bosha stuff. I picked up a new Anastasia brow definer. Ooh, look at that packaging. I got this one. This is the new one that's like really big and chunky and basically um, it's like a bigger guy. I, to be honest, do not really like this, but I am going to try it out. I think I had the wrong shade before because as you guys saw in the other day, my brows were like way too dark. So I got the next one up that's a little bit lighter. This is in soft brown, which I think will be better with my lighter hair now. So we're going to see. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to give it a try, give it a chance, and hopefully I like it. I love the brow wiz. I'm not sure about the brow definer. From Becca, I'm so excited. I picked up two new highlighters, which these guys are pretty pricey, but I use mine every single day. I kid you not, whenever I wear makeup, I wear champagne pop, which I'm wearing it right now. But I picked up two new colors. I got this one called Moonstone, which I have been dying for. It is so pretty. I love their packaging. The funny thing is my mom had Becca products when I was like a freshman in high school, so like 2009. So it's been like a very long time, but they're just getting like really popular now, which is awesome. So they've been around forever. And I remember my mom used to have these like cream color, like highlighting, like eyeshadow things, like multi-purpose ones. So this is Moonstone. It's a really pretty light, very, very light champagne color. And then I also picked up this one here, which is Opal, which is just as pretty. And it's very like goldy toned and it's so gorgeous. Oh my God. So this is like a really goldy tone champagne. It looks really silver, but trust me, it's gold. And from the Sephora brand, I picked up this brush here. This is the Pro Fan Brush number 65. I actually picked this up to highlight because I never know what to use for highlighter. I just kind of use whatever's laying around, but I figured this would be perfect to really like pop it right on the cheekbone. So yes. Also, I'm a VIB at Sephora, which if you don't know, basically when you spend money, you get points, and then you can put those points towards like free products and stuff. I'm sorry, my face is itchy right now, I'm so sorry. So I had enough points to get the 500 point perk, and it was NARS, which I was really excited about, so I had to get that. And basically, in here, I actually don't know what comes in here. There is, oh, cute. There's like a little baby orgasm blush. I love the orgasm blush. This is a, what is this? Audacious Mascara. Oh my God, these sizes are pretty good. I got this, which is a small, oh my gosh, yes, I love their Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So this is good for travel. And then a NARS lip gloss. Oh, you know what? I don't think I like their lip glosses. I think they smell kind of weird. But the packaging is so cute. That's a really pretty color too. Let's see if they changed it. Oh. There's no scent to it. I remember in high school, Kaylee had one and it smelled awful, but that's really nice. I'm very excited about those. And then I also picked up this for like the 100 point perk. This is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D, which I've never tried. I use the Steel one every single day and I wanted to give this a try because everyone raves about it. So I got this, very lucky that I got it for free. And then I also got this, the girl gave me this like thing for free. It's like a peel. A skin peel? I don't know, by Dr. Dennis Gross. She said it's good, so I'll try that out. Don't know. And last but not least, the thing that I think I am most excited for is I got a new perfume. I walked by the perfume section and I saw this bottle and I was like, oh, it's so cute. I was just like attracted to the packaging. And then when I smelled it, oh my gosh. I'm always looking for like my signature scent. I know that's weird, but like I want to have a scent that when people smell, they're like, oh, that's Remy. And I constantly try to get new scents that I'm like, oh, that's going to be me. But then it never really sticks. You guys, I think I finally got it as dumb as it sounds oh my goodness I picked it up and I sprayed myself and Tiff Tara and I were all freaking out about it so you know it's got to be good if like everybody's raving so this is a Daisy Dream Forever by Marc Jacobs and the packaging is adorable it's so pretty <gasps> I love it so much it looks like this and you guys oh I have no idea what it is but it smells amazing mm. that is the end of my haul I'm gonna pick up this phone call from my aunt and I'll see you guys soon bye Hello. Hi guys, update. So I came to meet my aunt at lunch over here. I don't know where she is. I just know she went to the bank, so I have to find her. Oh, I see her over there. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Ma'am. 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 Oh, she's on the phone. She's on the phone, that's why. Hello guys, my aunt and I just finished some lunch. How do you feel? Great. Great. And I have some really big news. I haven't told anybody yet, but I got a new car. Look how beautiful it is. Thank you so much for my gift. What shall I name it? Black Beauty it is. Hey, can you get a picture of me with my new car? Sure. <laughs> Look at the doors on my new car. What are these called? Butterfly doors? Oh my God, they're so nice. Thank you for my present. 
You're welcome. such a sweetie. <laughs> also, if everybody can't tell, I'm totally kidding. This is not my car. This is my aunt and uncle's car, but I am going to attempt to get in this. As you can see, my aunt was telling me it's very low to the ground. It's like down. low. Down the ledge. Okay, I'm gonna try and get in this. Like you have to like fall back. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. This is, it's kind of a little bit of a hassle. Do I pull this? Yeah, pull down. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Man, this is fancy. This is the first time in it. This is the BMW. <laughs> what is it? I8? Yeah. It's so fancy schmancy. It's like brand new too. Wow, this is super cool. Oh my god, I feel like a big baller. And at night, the everything lights up. Mom, say hi. hi. We're going to New York. Okay, this way, Mom. Guys, update. So, I'm sorry. I haven't vlogged in a long time because I was like in a frantic mode of packing and filming and everything and cleaning. But look who's here! Do you have anything you like to say? Hello. <laughs> we're very excited. We're heading over to the gate now, and then we're gonna board and go to sleep. And then when we wake up, we'll be in New Jersey. <laughs> we're flying into New Jersey, and then we're gonna take a train. Super close. So yes, we're gonna go. I'm gonna end the vlog now, though, and get some sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye.